Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT session on the basics of network cable connections. Today we're going to be talking about fiber optic network connections, we're going to be talking about coax network connections, and we're going to conclude on twisted pair network connections. I have a whole bunch of information to cover, so let's dive right in. So let's start with fiber optic network connection. The fiber optic cables themselves are composed of one or more strands, fibers, of high quality glass or plastic. The strands are coated with a sheath, that's called cladding, that aids in the transmission of a light signal down the fiber. There are three common types of network connections for fiber optics. There's the SC connector, the square connector or subscriber connector. There is the ST connector, the straight tip. And then there is the LC, which is also known as the lucent or little connector. Now when fiber optics are used in networking, each network connection is actually a pair of fiber optic cables. One cable is used to receive network traffic and the other cable is used to transmit network traffic. This allows for duplex communication. Now let's move on to coax network connection. A coax cable is composed of a central conductor that is covered with an insulating layer that is covered with a metal mesh or foil sheath which is finely covered by an insulating layer. The ends of a coax network cable are required to be terminated with a resistor to eliminate signal bounce. In today's networking environment, about the only connector you'll come across is the F connector. It's a simple rugged connector and they're used with RG6 or RG59 coaxial cable. Less common, but you may still find it, is the BNC, the Bayonet Neil Councilman connector or Bayonet Nut connector. This is an older technology, like I said, and it really isn't used in the modern network, at least hopefully not in your network. So let's move on to twisted pair wire network connection. Now, twisted pair wire is the most common of all networking cables. The cable is composed of eight wires that are twisted together into pairs. The rate of twist in each pair is slightly different to reduce the chances of interference called crosstalk from the adjoining pairs. It also reduces the opportunity for electromagnetic interference, EMI. Now there may or may not be a shield around each pair of wires and or a shield around all four pairs of wires. Well that's true, all four pairs of wires are housed in a common sheath. Now let's talk about the common twisted pair network connection. First up is the RJ45, the registered Jack 45. This is the network connector that most people think about when they think about Ethernet networking. It's a modular network connector that contains eight pins and will accept eight conductors wires. An RJ45 can also be called a modular 8P8C connector. That's eight pin, eight conductor connector. The other common twisted pair network connector is the RJ11, the registered Jack 11. Like I said, this is also a common network connector, but most people don't think of it that way because it's used for telephones. It is a modular network connector that contains six pins and four wires. It is a modular 6P4C connector. So let's talk about the twisted pair wiring standards. There are two twisted wire cable pinout standards, that's wiring standards, that are regulated by the TIA EIA, that's the Telecommunications Industry Association Electronics Industry Alliance. The pinout standards specify the ordering of the wires to ensure that proper networking communication can take place. The two standards are the TIA EIA 568A, that's the T568A standard, and the TIA EIA 568B or T568B standard. And you can see that the pinouts are slightly different. When you're working with twisted pair cable, there are some common tools that you should have. 
First up is the wire stripper. These are used to remove the insulating jacket from the twisted pair cable. Then there's the crimping tool. These are used to secure the wires into the modular connector, into the RJ45 or the RJ11. You should also have a punch down tool. Now these are used to secure the wires into a punch down block, which is a fairly common component in the modern local area network. And finally, you should have a cable tester. These are used to test the integrity of the network cable to make sure that it's good. Now that concludes this session on the basics of network cable connections. We talked about fiber optic network connections. We briefly talked about coax network connections. And we ended on the twisted pair wire network connections that are available to you. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I look forward to doing another one.